Hey guys, AA5088 here, and I'm bringing to you a video game review of L.A. Noir. This game released just today, and I decided to do a video for you guys. I don't want to do any spoilers, so I'm not going to run through any missions or anything. Basically, uh, all I'm going to tell you is very interesting. It's a fresh take on a video game. If you like something different, you're probably going to like this. Visually, the graphics are unbelievable. The facial animations and expressions on the characters. The voice acting is pretty good. It's a little dry, but I, I think they're given that 1940s feel. It's a crime thriller, and uh, I've only played about 10 or 15 minutes of it, and uh, so far so good. Um, as for recommendations, yeah, I, I think uh, if you're into something new and you want to break from, uh, you know, all the other stuff that's out there, the shooters and all that kind of stuff that's all pretty much carbon copies of one another, I think you'll like this one. Uh, chance to become a cop, chance to become a detective. Basically the way I figure it is you start off as a rookie cop and you're going to work yourself up through the ranks. Um, you know, mission to mission. It's a whole city that you have to explore. You stumble across crime scenes. You have to interview people. You have to look for clues. you got a notebook that you uh, keep track of everything. Uh, you go back to decide whether or not you want to uh, investigate further. Um, I haven't gotten too far into it, but it's so far so good. You know, you're driving around, you're doing your thing. There's gunfights, there's car chases. Uh, you know, I was involved in a in a rooftop chase that was pretty cool. And uh, interrogating witnesses, you have to read their facial expressions. Some uh, guy in my clan told me that they. Uh, the CGI in it, they put like 120 points what do you got uh, for data collection on on the actors and actresses' faces. So you you know you have to read the little eyebrow tweaks or the way they swallow at certain times, and you have to make a decision whether they're telling the truth or lying and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of stuff, uh, you know, give it a go. This might be a rental. I can't really see how there's going to be much replayability in this game uh, because f without spoiling it for what I played so far it, it seems like you're going to go from mission to mission and there's no real way out of it I, I could be wrong uh, this is opening day game review so I could be wrong but a game like this you might want to rent it and blow through it on a weekend or something like that it does look like it's pretty deep and in depth so there's probably going to be some you know, uh, quite a few hours to, to put into this to, to complete it. But, uh, yeah, probably f for the best part, it's a rental right now. You're you're going to be impressed if you like these kind of sit around in your jogging pants with a two liter bottle of Mountain Dew and an ashtray at your side and just, you know, let it suck hours out of your life on a weekend when it's raining or something. I think you're going to like it. So, yeah, check it out, guys. I'm having fun with it. So I hope I didn't spoil anything with this uh, little video teaser. And until next time, uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting up more SOCOM, Battlefield, all that kind of stuff, all that good stuff again. I just thought I'd put a little uh, review together for this game before you guys go out and start spending your money. Uh, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 so far. It's looking pretty good. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.